GCSE Biology Paper 2 is tomorrow, so I'm going to be giving you some last minute tips so that you can ace that exam. Let's get straight into it. My first tip is to not forget that ecology exists. Whether it's in the morning of your exam or the night before when you're watching this, make sure you look over the ecology topic for biology. So many people forget that it's even there and I can only assume that's because it feels simple or it feels like year 7 stuff but a good chunk of your paper will be on this topic obviously. So make sure you go over things like how to use quadrats and transects in investigations, rate of decay, pyramids of biomass and trophic levels and producing things like insulin and microproteins with bacteria. My second tip is that on the morning of the exam, make sure to binge watch Cognito videos. They're lifesavers and they'll go over so much in a short amount of time, so they're just the perfect thing to listen to just before your exam. My third tip is to try to remember the Linnaean system of classification. And the mnemonic I used to remember it in my exams were King Patrick collects oranges for great SpongeBob. I know that's quite weird, but the weirder it is, the better, honestly, because it's more memorable when it's kind of weird. Pause. I'm nearly at 2,000 subscribers, and I really like to reach it before the end of exam season. So if you could please subscribe, it doesn't cost anything, and it would really help the channel a lot. Now let's get back into the tips. My fourth tip is to try not to mix up Carl Woes, I think is how you pronounce it, and Carl Linnaeus. Walsh made the three domain system and Linnaeus obviously made the Linnaeus system and they may ask you to talk about one of them or say the difference between them. They are not the same person and you shouldn't mix them up or you will lose all your marks. My fifth tip is that Panet square diagrams are literally free marks so make sure you look over how to do them briefly. Often they can be up to four or even six marks to do something a primary schooler could do at least in my opinion. My sixth tip is that genetic diagrams were always really difficult for me and a lot of my friends so instead of trying to learn how they work I suggest you find and do some questions on them instead to practice them because I can't remember if it came up in my GCSE biology exam last year or not but if it had I would not have done well on that question because I was constantly trying to learn specifically how to do them rather than just practicing over and over again and then just getting good at it through that way. So if it's the night before your exam, do some questions on it if you don't understand how to do them. My final seventh tip is to make sure you know the full explanation of a reflex arc. I'm pretty sure you can get up to six marks if you're able to explain it fully. And yeah, it's just a useful thing to know for paper two. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am making part twos for last minute chemistry and last minute physics. I don't think I'll make a part two for anything else. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and you're going to smash the exam. Good luck. And make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.